too spicy. Oh god, alright. Here's some coffee, hopefully that'll help me. That's not helping me. <laughs> Forgive me everyone, I just ate some fudge. It's fancy as fuck, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh god. Anyway. How are ya? Um, hopefully everything looks fine. Let me stop the chat, stop the chat. Okay, pin, okay. I pinned the comments, so if you wanna mega chat me, link is up there. What's up, I'm, I'm back. Oh god, hopefully the sound is alright. Uh, I got headphones in my lap. I'm gonna use them a bit later. Just wanna show off my hat for some reason. A bit. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Gina Rock in the 80s Chinese peasant fit. Hey, some people still look like this these days. Oh god. Alright. Swag, thanks. So stoked for the GG Allen dog, man. So stoked you want to do that. I want to do that, of course, but not yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready just yet. My tongue is on fire. Motherfucker. I will fail so hard on the Hot Ones episode. God damn. <laughs> Looks a bit dumb. Anyway, love like us theme. Thank you very much. Uh, in case you don't know, this is what you're listening to at the moment is the music from the Laika documentary, the first space dog, really. And uh, it's up on my documentary channel, Gino Samuel 3. Please check out the link below. Hey, Nicole. Oh, yeah. Hey, everyone. Anyway, I'm back. Let me see. Am I too uh, peaky or too uh, zesty? Am I too zesty? Maybe not. Am I gonna make any more yokai videos? I'm not planning on it. Uh, love your content. Much love from Argentina. Hello to Argentina. You hear good things. Oh my god. So, how many of y'all caught that um, that uh, very fancy stream that I did a few days ago? You like that? <laughs> it feels so soon. I'm gonna do this a bit more regularly, I guess. So, it is just about a week after <coughs> after the last one. Jerry Docker on Sentinel Island, quite, quite nuanced. Thank you very much. Happy birthday, G fuck you. <laughs> fuck you very much. Thank you, but also fuck you. It's not my birthday anyway. Uh, once the Christian Docker is cut up, are you going to update sporadically or do you have a cutoff date? I'm definitely going to cut off at around the jail entry, the jail saga. And after that, <clears throat> I'm not sure how often it's, it's going to be. I'm going to go on on, a, on on an extended break, I suppose. After that point, once Chris reaches jail. Uh, during that point, I'm still going to be working on other stuff. Uh, including documentaries that are not on this channel. For example, the Laika documentary. The Terra Nova South Pole Expedition documentary. Uh, the North Sentinel Islands documentary. Uh, the Yorkai the yokai documentaries and the music censorship documentary they're all up on gino samuel 3 please check out the link down below for documentary content documentary content from gino samuel and uh oh guys and i'm gonna be doing lots more i've i've one planned i'm already working on the script for that one uh it's gonna be another another Goddamn tearjerker! I, I can't, I can't stop making my my audience cry. And the Gigi Allen documentary is gonna come up much later. Personally, I think it's gonna come a lot later than um, probably not even 2024. Personally, we'll see how the how the channel goes. Okay, actually, I can I can put on my headphones like this. It's pretty cool. Did Dirk ever finish his book? He's he's, he's still working on the on the book. It's a difficult book. Oh, damn. He has to, he has to sleep sometimes. He sleeps once every uh, few weeks. You know, to just recharge and then then he can go on the uh, uh, gooning to Gino Samuel. When when did you? I I, I caught it pretty recently uh, from my wife. I moved back to Japan at some point. I'm not moving back to Japan. No, that's not the plan. I I I I'm gonna visit eventually, definitely. Cause we got some stuff to do. There's some some things to eat. 
Because, um, man, honestly, the food cannot be matched in Japan. It just... Too damn good. <laughs> the letters of the final three in the polar party made me tear up a little, not gonna lie. Thank you very much, Goon. Thank you very much, Goon. How many more parts until we reach the jail saga? Hopefully around four or five, thereabouts. And then after that point, I'm gonna be working on from, uh, for the Sonichu animated series. You remember that one? You remember that one? I got, I got most of the, uh, most of the actors lined up quite a long time ago, by now, like about three or four months ago. And, um, I'm gonna be starting working on it eventually. Maybe the next month, I'm gonna have to ask for everyone to record their stuff and start planning uh, episodes 1, 2, and 3. And, and they're going to be uploaded onto this channel. This is still going to be remaining the um, Chris Chan channel. Do you plan to blow sheep, sheeping? No, not really. Is there any sheet music for Laika's theme? I'm learning how to play piano and love to know how to play it. It's, it's, it's fairly simple to play, honestly. This is Laika's theme, by the way. Damn it. My pencils fell my 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 pencils fell down. Anyway, let me just show you why why don't I? Why don't I? It's very simple. It's basically I mean it is an it is an A minor, so that that makes things a whole lot more simple. Yeah, I'm I'm turn on. Where's my pedal? I got my pedal ready. Anyway, so this is uh, basically left hand. Uh, just doing uh, basically like uh, triads. And then uh, D minor 7, G major 7, C major. C, C, C major. <laughs> C, no, no, this is, a, this is G7, this is C major 7, and then F major 7, and then uh, B diminish 7, and then uh, E7, and then regular A minor, and then A major, and then uh, back to D minor 7, G7, C minor, C major 7, F major 7, it's still the same chords, you know, G, D, B diminish seven, G uh, E seven, and then A minor. It's all it's all simple stuff anyway. This is this is the, the most tricky part. It kind of starts like um like Fiorelisa. Oh, I forgot about this. Uh, B flat major seven. It's all sequences, you know? That's what makes a memorable melody. It's just play it, play it once, then play it up or down. The same thing, you know? It's all sequences. Just a little jump here. Sailor Moon. 
Definitely. Definitely. Anyway, enough of that. Also wanting to start a Chris stream. Wholesome. <laughs> Ever had to deal with trolls since making your doc? Trolls? Uh, people who, who, who want me dead? Yeah, definitely. I've dealt with those, those kinds. Uh, uh, there's a certain someone on Twitter who keeps, uh, uh, routinely logging back into their alt and just, uh, spamming the same, the same old message. Um, <laughs> I think I dropped something again. Same old message, uh, you know, about, uh, me. Uh, me taking advantage of Chris, or, or, or encouraging trolling, yada yada. There's, there's, there's stuff like that still happening. Why did you move to a communist country? Because I'm, I'm, I'm married a Chinese woman. <laughs> Nothing to do with this country. Have you seen Amadeus? I love Amadeus. Great movie. Play some Duran Duran. Not today, not today. Not, not in this room, anyway. Kind of reminds me of Moonlight Sonata, possibly. Anyway, let me, uh, let me find this goddamn stream. This is, why, why, why is this so difficult, actually? Why is this so difficult? It's actually so difficult to find my own stream on my own channel. God damn it. Okay, there it is. Anyway. Uh, stop it. Okay. Here's my second monitor. So I can look at y'all, what y'all talking about, as I'm looking at Chris's face. Anyway. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had some spicy huajin recently. Uh, I'm excited to buy some of the things you're making down in the center, but are you nervous about blowback from Chris at all? No, I'm not nervous. Maybe I should be. I don't know. Anyway, uh, the supplies are almost all here. I'm going to start making my first batch of medallions. Uh, the medallions have been printed. They're on the way. They might even come today or tomorrow. Uh, I got the rest of the painting supplies and all the boxes, all the bubble wrap, and everything's really, uh, pretty much ready to go. Uh, so I'm gonna do the first 10, uh, just to see... Is 32 not 31? I will fix or whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna... What, it's pretty tense, yeah, this is, um, this is Sputnik 1 music from the Leica documentary. Uh, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna work on 10, for starters, just to see how it looks. Can I do it quickly enough? And then... I'm gonna put it up on Etsy, on my Etsy shop, which I'm gonna talk about later, whenever they're ready. So, will they come with a certificate? They should come with a certificate, shouldn't they? Are they made of Creole? They're, they are 3D printed for the moment, to make it a bit faster and a bit cheaper. But I will be painting them myself and signing them and, uh, and varnishing them and sandpapering them. And I, I designed the 3D model as well. It's based off the Mach 1 Sonic Medallion. And uh, yes, I am going to get merch made of my albums, especially Morgana. That's coming soon too. Hopefully by the end of this year. To coincide with the uh, two-year anniversary of the release of Morgana. In case you don't know, Morgana is my most popular uh, music album, I'd say. You can check it out, all of it, and my music videos for it on my music channel, Gino Samuel Official. Link down below. This is this is what you're listening to right now. This is Stereo Love, the opening track from Morgana, released in 2021. Please check it out. Really cool stuff. Anyway. Did that work? Hopefully, hopefully that worked. Anyway, let's move on to, to the star attraction, apparently. Click on my face. So this is, this is where we, are the rectum safe? Probably not. Vinyl? People, man, people really want to want vinyl, don't they? Hmm. I have to think about that, really. Because there's apparently a lot, apparently a lot more demand for vinyl than anything else, which uh, it's kind of costly to make, though. And, and, Cabbage and, and Vienna, th those those also be on CD, and Morgana as well. The thing is, vinyl... Is is limited, you know. I'll, I'll not fix the tile yet. I'll, f I'll fix it later. Anyway, um, I was gonna say because because my music albums are usually a lot longer than what the vinyl can contain, so it makes the things difficult. What the fuck are you talking about, Gino Samuel's father, Gary? Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll buy the vinyl. I'm fine with CDs. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. Anyway, 
So let's uh, let's continue on from where we left off. There's like a what the hell is that thing in the in the bottom left? It's like a it's like a little ceramic penis. I really don't know what that is. Anyway, so this is where we left off last time. Met a lawyer from Germany. I <laughs> started to watch your content. Very interesting. Keep it up. Hello, Boris. Nice to have you here. My car is a CD player. I'm sure I'll, I'll live without a record. Thanks. Anyway, so where we left off uh, last time, Christine pepper sprayed the GameStop employee. And now Chris is in jail. So this is one of the jail calls uh, that were done to the... To the jail. Oh, thank you for the for the mega chat. That worked out really great. Thank you very much. I might be Mr. C. Uh, great. Anyway, <laughs> all right. Anyway, so so when Chris was in, when Chris was in jail, uh, people cassette is better than vinyl. Again, cassette is limited the exact same way. You can't make a very long album on a cassette. <laughs> the problem is. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what we can do. So Chris is in jail. People are calling about Chris being in jail. This happens every time that Chris is in jail. So let's see what this call is about. Back in, uh, yeah, 20 December 2014. Oh, God. Are we going to get louder? Okay, I made it a little bit louder. That's too loud. Uh, good afternoon. I, I uh, want to verify some information about an inmate that you have. Uh, oh my God, Chandler. <laughs> uh, yeah, the name is Christian Weston Chandler. I'm not the first one who's calling about Charlie <laughs> Tippett, 42.1 Double Quarters, Tired Policeman, Let Me Guess, Chandler. Yeah, let me guess, Chandler. <laughs> He knows. Calling about what? Uh, I know the first person who called you about this particular issue. No, you're the third person in a row. That's why I knew who it was that. Probably. Third person in a row. Chris is infamous. Chris is infamous, and unfortunately, the uh, the people of 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 the greater Charlottesville area have to deal with this all the time. Greater Greater Virginia area, even. Okay. I'm... It's. Why does the color sound like AI? Why is AI now synonymous with just computer aided? Because like it's it's not it's a it's a voice changer and and by the way AI does not sound like this it does not sound this unnatural. <laughs> people people complain with, about me all the time that um my documentary voice sounds like AI. AI sounds much more lively and and uh, and and human like than than I can ever sound anyway the sound is fucked sorry but we have to deal with this with this french robot yeah he's here he's here he's here he's here he is here still confirm. we're still referring to him by a male pronouns okay uh would you um add more information more information? What do you want to know? What do you want to know? Uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know what I want to know. Charge, uh, he's going to, uh... Oh, yeah, he got a charge for spraying gas. I think he sprayed pepper spray somebody. Yeah, that's the current information that we have. Uh, there's some video on YouTube where he sprays like <laughs> a movie with some uh, paper spray or something like that. I you do sound like AI. AI. Uh, interesting oh, documentary. Yeah, <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. I appreciate all your cooperation. Yeah, yeah, try calling back tomorrow afternoon. Like I said, if I give you a court tomorrow morning, you try tomorrow call morning. in the afternoon and see what happens. Okay, thank you. Thank sure. you. Cool. That was, that was great. I could barely hear the thing. Anyway. Um, this is interesting. Is this relevant to anything? Nothing? There's nothing. You have reached the inmate oh. information section. Another phone call. You have reached the inmate account and record section. The account office is open Monday through. One moment, please.
This feels like a lot of info to give to a stranger. Um, apparently it's okay. Apparently this is all in the public record, so you might just... Just tell to everybody, really. Preach to the choir! Inmate record. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you, but I just called. Uh, can you verify... What? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm calling you. Right for me again that Christian Weston Chandler has already been bailed out? Yes. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, sir. Um, Bye-bye. Bailed out? He's a, he's a Canadian, isn't he? Anyway, uh, Chris and Barb coming out of court. So we're... Yeah, these aspect ratios are going to be quite wild during this era. Anyway, so Chris and Barbara were walking in and out of court all the time. This was was recorded by the uh, notable field field agent Ramspieler, and uh, yeah, he he followed them around a lot, or around the courts. So let's see what they look like. This is. Barbara, I, I believe, was dyeing her hair a bit darker back th back back in those days. Chris looks tall. Chris looks like a Chris looks like a a washed up heavy metal band lead singer, you know, <laughs> with the the yeah with the thin legs and the and the thinning long greasy hair. It's kind of like that. Anyway. Cute. Yeah, this was um, this was f February twenty fifteen. What do you mean? Why am I in China? I live here. Anyway, uh, this is C Chan. Apparently, this is a, not Ramspieler. Interesting. I thought it was Ram. Anyway, we're supposed to listen. We're supposed to listen to this, but it, it, it is very low volume. I'm not sure if, if I can do anything about that. And my uh, OBS is also maxed out. I heard it. It was a, it was a stress sigh. Right there. So Chris was experimenting with lots of uh, fancy clothes back, back in these days. As you can see. Lady in red. Oh, God damn you. <laughs> we'll do fashion tips series. <laughs> anyway. So anyway, in the meantime, Chris was doing this. <laughs> okay, so the... Okay, this, this screen looks good. Ambient mode is off. Ambient mode is off, and I still have the rounded corners. This means nothing. We're stuck with the rounded corners. God damn you. Henry, anyway, give us a like. And thank you very much, Anonymous. Anonymous Tipet 42.14 W quarter. How does it feel to be the main documentarian of the most documented person? <laughs> And have you listened to soft machine? Man, what a what a question. Thank you very much. How's it feel? I don't think about it all that much. It doesn't really bother me. But uh but uh anyway, I actually never listened to Soft Machine. Kind of a, maybe it's kinda of weird, but I never got into Soft Machine. Um i of all things, I listened to the the majority of the discography of Gong. And I fucking hated it so much. God damn. Oh, another one. Anyway, this is April 23rd, 2015. As Chris is awaiting trial or or be, getting um, getting deferred or, or whatever. Chris is just playing Mario Kart, which is great. Uh, there's, there's, a, there's a few short videos coming up, which are great. Or watch Mario Kart. This is what uh, Chris was playing at the time. No sharp edges for me. South Park. South Park. Who looks like me from South Park? 
Is it Luigi? No, I think Chris is uh, dressed as Chris Chan Sonichu. I'm sure. No, that's, that's definitely like a, a Sonic hat. It's really cute. What else would you do while we're wearing trial? I mean, of course. Uh, also, Chris, Christine was... Uh, Christine was having fun. Chris's team was having fun with people. <laughs> with people. And uh, she was going out to um, LGBT-friendly places. Thank you very much, Luca. イットオールウェイズファンチューニングイントストリームサンクスフォーエブリシングユードゥーマンスティルカントビリーブクリスイズバックレットアローンストリーミングヒムゼルフ。Yep, unbelievable. Anyway, thank you very much for joining once again. Glad you enjoy. Um, this is this is part of probably the the happiest point of Chris's life when uh Chris Chris was uh dancing and uh, tipping. Uh, drag queens. Dislike disabled by owner. Dislike. So Chris gave a tip, I believe. And then Chris is gonna tip. Chris is gonna tip again. Soundtrack's hot. Do you think the medallions will be available to buy before Christmas? Definitely. Should be available to buy by, by the end of November. Definitely. At least the first 10. But then after that, I'm going to do another 100 at least. That's the plan. They're just, they're just holding up the... Uh... Thank you very much, Liam. Oh, that's got to be for you, doesn't it? Definitely has to be for you. Even though I also like melodies a lot, and um, and uh, right on time as well. Uh, for you, it's just that uh, that's the that, that's the iconic, perfect combination of, of everything he was he was going for at that time. It's just absolutely amazing. I want to get it on vinyl, but it's so goddamn expensive. Thank you very much, battery. Favorite saga. Um, the overlooked eBay saga of around this time in uh, 2014, I think that was really fun for me to re to research actually and and talk about. That was really cool for me. And and also the first um, the first hiatus from the internet, the first uh, what is it called? Blackout. Blackout. There's a there's a specific word for what Chris was doing back then, like not talking to anybody and not showing up online and stuff i can't remember exile that's it the, the first exile saga after after bob's death like parts 36 37 38 that was really interesting for me to make all that uh that time period and uh i believe i, I missed part of your question sorry <laughs> let's paint medallions definitely Chris standing up. Chris wants to be noticed. <laughs> Chris feels like she is performing too, no? Is she standing up? I uh, like that. I think they tried to talk, but he's busy performing. And then um, Wu, I believe this was a this was a like 40s, a woman in her 40s, and uh, she had a dance with with Christine. Damn, what a, what a moment to catch on. Uh, Let's catch on camera. That's an interesting remix. Oh my goodness. Man, Chris was living the life back back then. That's nice. 
My, my goodness, she's, she's gonna rip off the, the woman's arm. God damn, she just fucking disappeared. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So freaking bad. So, this is, um, Chris leaves court, Ramspieler back at it again. Um... Christian Western Channel leaves court with yet another continuance, but at least his latest ensemble actually matches. Cool. Fashion tips from Ram from Ramspieler. Let's see. Uh, Chris's Chris's attire is absolutely god. All wow, wow. Something you might see in like 1890s Louisiana. Really, it's like wow. <laughs> anyway, so there's a wow. That uh, that red that. Re that ace though um sure thing ramspieler anyway so this is like uh this this was was this the lawyer i cannot remember the uh context what what, what is the context unless i'll go wait oh fuck such a tease shaking ass great very very mature commentary here um maybe she'll be with him next time when he destroys a store's property and attacks an innocent employee then she can be with him in court too uh Okay, great. Um, I I don't know, I don't know the context, but anyway, this is a this is a lady, and and uh, she's defending Chris and Barbara. This is outside outside of a, after an, another court thing. I can't remember if that's, if that's a lawyer or is that just another some sort of, um, white knight as they say. Are you trying to say get. Nice trip. Thanks. Uh, I I believe she accosted Ramspieler. She was a. Uh, she confronted him for recording Chris secretly from the shadows, and um, and then she w she went off in uh, in the Ford Focus to to comfort Chris and Barbara, I guess. And that's the end of that story. And then one one more appearance from Ramspieler, Chris saved by his autism. Chris and Barbara again leaving court. Interesting. Interesting attire. Hmm. There he goes. And his fucking blue outfit again. Chris likes blue. There's nothing wrong with that. I can't believe he actually wore the same outfit. Hey. And the good thing is the lady in red has already left. The lady in red. God damn. Another one. Anyway, hey, it's not a fashion faux pas to wear the same dress twice. It's just it's just societal pressure to keep changing dresses. But it's okay. You can you can wear the same dress twice. Thing is, the lady in red has already left. Although she was in brown today, but yeah. The lady in red was in brown. Fuck. <laughs> Opening him. That's a barb. Right past the line, and Chris getting in the car, and none the wiser. I just wish I had better intel. All I know is... Wish I had a better intel. God damn you. And then six months, either he should be offline for six months, or in six months, if he goes to therapy, I don't know. I didn't hear anything about therapy, but he was frustrated as fuck. He actually saw it out loud like three times. <laughs> but yeah, six months. What does that mean? Well, there you go. Six months. And his ban from the mall may be lifted. But he was frustrated. Great. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. Go! Okay, great. Sure. Now we're okay, let's let's tone that down a bit. So so this is um okay. So this is a uh, what is this? What is this game? Is a Wii something? Anyway, uh, Chris was doing this a lot. Basically, basically going back to the old days of of creating playable characters and uh, NPCs of of Chris's villains, real life and uh, and fake, mostly like real life villains, and then uh, beating them up. And this is this is what's happening here. This is the uh, Chandlers versus the villains. This is a uh, we got Christine, Barbara, Anne, Mr. Bobby C versus Count Graduan, Slow Wheel Ryan. Jerkop, Jankop, and Reldnak, not to Nate Zerk. Let's let's see how this goes. Smash Brothers, apparently.
Are they all CPUs or... Or what? It's... I... As someone who doesn't play video games, even though I want to start up a... A, a Let's Play channel called Gino Samuel 4, check it out, link below. Not really. Um, this means nothing to me, absolutely nothing. This is, this is not the kind of game that I would play. Blue team. Nice, Blue Team 1. Bob looks great. God damn. Anyway, let's... Let's do it again. This is a... <laughs> okay, alright. Sure. <laughs> Level 1 CPUs. Yeah, of course. Alright. So this is, um... Christine... Chris from before 2011. Christopher versus autism. Remember this uh, me character that Chris designed? I was very, was very proud of it because this is the personification of autism. Just like this, this person with fucking giant glasses on. That's just autism to them, apparently. And uh, see, this, this, this right here, Christopher and Chris before 2011, and Christine. This further uh, exemplifies, or like adds, adds credence to my theory that Chris's uh, perception of themselves is completely different from what you might expect. Chris truly feels that she is a Pokemon. Like, the way the Pokemon evolve, they're still the same being, but their name changes and their appearance also changes and their and their powers and abilities also change with each uh, transformation with each evolution. Chris is evolving. Chris started out life as a as a as a Christopher Pokemon and then he evolved into a Christian Pokemon and then he evolved into a Christine Pokemon and then he evolved into a Jesus Christ Chan Sonichu Prime Pokemon. Maybe we can even go further than that. Who knows what the next year is going to bring us? See, because like uh, Chris, uh, like Christian, back in 20, uh, 2009, 2010, when talking about, talking with the trolls, Chris had this perception that Christopher was a, was, was like dead. Like <laughs> Christopher Weston Chandler was, was haunting the house. So the trolls shouldn't go near it because then they will be, they will be spooked by the ghost of Christopher Weston Chandler. Like, you know, Chris is not just changing his name. He's like, he's morphing into a, into, into, into a new being. Thank you very much, Nicole. God damn. Chance. He's watching with me. Happy birthday, Chance. Hope, hope you're having a fun time out there. Damn, I, I can't believe that emoji actually worked. Cool jobs. It's 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 so it's so cute when uh, couples have these uh, cute pastimes, these 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 cute hobbies together. Anyway, <laughs> he did kill Christopher. I did. Oh God. Chris is up to uh, regular ego death. <laughs> Reincarnation. It's not quite reincarnation because Chris has has had past lives before, before 1982. Uh, Chris, uh, Chris, Chris, Chris started out life as a as a wandering star. Um, <laughs> no, in in part 81, Chris goes into very deep detail with uh, with a certain someone during a during a, a a spiritual chat over Discord about about her her past lives. Then she, and that she uh, she says that she actually came from uh, from Kidasuna, that alien planet in the Andromeda galaxy. And then after some time, she uh, traveled to Earth. Uh, she fucked Merlin the magician for a little bit, and then um, and then she uh, tra it, and then she traveled to two thousand three. She she discovered this uh, chaotic rainbow, which transported her back in time to nineteen eighty two, which is the day of her birth. It's it's very complex stuff. So yeah, I'm sure I can make a video about it. Why, why was it paused? I could just let this bullshit play on in the background. God damn it. I'm not even paying attention to this shit. What you want to talk about? Is the medallion still a thing? You mean my medallion? Yes, it is still a thing. I'm going to make it uh, probably on, on state. We're going to get it maybe either today or tomorrow. I'm going to make them as soon as possible. Um, 
see how that looks. And I'm going to sell the first batch of 10, which I'm sure is going to sell out pretty quickly. And if if everything goes well with this first batch, I'm going to do another 100 then. Anyway, is, is, is autism losing? Yes, I think autism lo is losing. <laughs> the epic battle with autism. Mimikyu is better than the original. Oh! Why does it feel... Suddenly I feel cold. What happened? Did they come with your autograph? They will be autographed, yes. The back will be signed. Autism is losing? Good. <laughs> what has been the hardest part of covering the Christian saga? Um, wrestling with all the sources. There's there's lots of different sources um, all, all over the place, and I'm trying to organize them into a more chronological setting. Uh, that's difficult. That's difficult. Es es especially when... So much of the story, especially nowadays, is like Discord chats. And I really couldn't give a shit about that personally, but I have to research it for the... for the authenticity, you know? Would a Gina Let's Play be old PC adventure games like Myst? I never even played Myst, but I, it'll definitely be more, more of the older stuff. I'm definitely into like Med Medal of Honor Pacific Assault. That was a fucking phenomenal game for me. Uh, played it all the time. Uh, also the uh, Indiana Jones game from like 2003. I was too scared to finish that, honestly. Back <laughs> back in the day, but I'm 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 willing to go ahead and uh, and uh, play that again. If the war goes on. Uh, what? What, um, the, uh, my, my, my personal Sonichu medallions that I'm making, they will be autographed by me, of course. Uh, they're gonna, they're gonna come with a built-in hoop on top of the head, as if it's like one of those, uh, key rings that, uh, Chris, Chris would have in his own medallions. Uh, but this will be all 3D printed as, as, as a single hole, so, and I, I won't have any necklaces or straps. Fate of Atlantis. I didn't play that one, but I, I did play the other one. I can't remember what it's called. Goddamn, it was like the one with the with the Nazi submarine and, and shit, and the and the big alligator. Blue team one again. Wow, great. Anyway, an, another one. Uh, Jerkops versus Jankops. That's really interesting. Why the hell is this a thing? So yeah, the, there's there's gonna be a little like a like a a half hoop on top of the Sonichu's head, so you can use it. Whichever way you want. You can make it into a necklace. You gotta provide your own necklace strap and stuff. You can uh, hang it off the mirror in your car. You can hang it up off the hook on the wall. You can you can make it into a into a keyring, really. Uh, the Indiana Jones game scared the shit out of me. The crocodile and Grim Reaper doors had no business being that intense. They were very intense. I I cannot finish that goddamn level, and I cannot finish the game, even though I I wanted to play as. Uh, as a fake Indiana Jones so much. The Jerk Up 4-1. Great. Anyway, an another match. Yet another one. Uh, this is Slow Wheel Rhyme versus Jerk Up 3, Jane Cop and Jerk Up. Why are they fighting against Slow Wheel Rhyme? What the hell is wrong with this with this uh, universe of, of Chris's? Christmas ornament. Yes, you, you, you can definitely hang some uh, Sonic medallions off the Christmas tree this year. That'll be perfect, honestly. And I'm I'm also planning on uh, making miniature figurines of the Sonic Totem, which no one has ever done that before. Uh, I want to make it fairly accurate. It's gonna be 3D printed. I don't, I don't know. It's gonna be like yay high, about 10 centimeters tall, maybe like about three or four. No, maybe four four inches thereabouts. And you can and you can put it next to all of your um, all your collectible figurines. And all your Sailor Moons and your Transformers and just a Sonic Totem, they're, just, they're in the middle. <laughs> Civil War. And the star made so delicately. I think Chris did get some catharsis out of this. Because in this universe, the uh, all the villains cannot agree with each other and they're, and they're destroying each other. So, um, 
So I think Chris was uh, happy to see this. Quick rain stream win. That was fun. Oh, that rain stream? Uh, towards the Christmas season. I'm, I'm going to make up a, a new scenario. Is, isn't that copyright infringement, though? Probably not. We'll, we'll see. Sonic Totem like some... You never heard of the Sonic Totem? Uh, it's a, it's an arts and crafts project that Chris made back in... A, I don't know, back in... When he was around 10 or 11 or 12 years old or... 15 years old. I, I, I really don't know, but it was... It was kind of... It was kind of big. Kind of terrifying. In, incredibly terrifying. It was like a, a, a paper mache Sonic Totem. Like Sonic the Hedgehog Totem. And... Um, Chris sold it for $1,500 over eBay. I don't know who's who's got it now. Uh, they uh, actually went on 4chan when they when they received it and uh, and shared the uh, the package that they got. Yeah, so yeah, it was definitely sold for fifteen hundred dollars. Mine will be a significant, significantly smaller and cheaper than that. So there's that to look forward to. POV, you're sitting in your room while people are carling and saying, I need a cute girl. <laughs> Cosmic horror, huh? Do you still have the meter right? Oh, yes, it's it's uh, right over there across many walls. If I look at it, I, I, I get a little dizzy. <laughs> Funny how that happens. Apparently, the guy collects stuff like that. It's I, sh I should honestly ca ca categorize it as, a, as Mexican folk art just to, you know, just, <laughs> just to keep up the authenticity. Who won? Slow wheel run. Slow wheel run. Slow wheel one. Fuck. Oh, thank you very much, Nicole, again. My goodness. Can you tell my boyfriend? Chance. That I'm sorry I didn't notice a chee shaved his beard. He mad I didn't notice. Chance. She, she says she's sorry. Um, uh, if, she, if she didn't notice, maybe you should try harder to grow a beard next time. <laughs> Personally, I cannot grow a beard, so I, I understand the, the struggle. If I don't shave, I make a great mustache. <laughs> but I, I I refuse to have a mustache, is the problem. <laughs> Chance the Gardener. Are we still... So we'll rest can graduate on jerk up on jerk up. Okay, great. Anyway, this is this is the last one in this in this round before we are uh, before we get an, another update from from another uh, field operative post court case. So so we're we're really zooming through the years now because Chris is just busy doing this and going to court all the time. Uh, it's not gonna get busy until 2016, so we're, we're 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 almost out of 2015 already. We're gonna go through almost the entire year in this one video. Though I think there's gonna be uh, towards like November 2015, uh, Christine was starting to get trolled again by Jeff Jeff Francine, which is basically like a liquid Christine, is what that was. And um, yeah, that's 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 gonna take up some time. Look at my PFP. My my PFP is fake. Honestly, Gino, <laughs> Freddie Mercury stash would look great on Gino. I really don't think I can do that. Where's Chris living now? Chris is being very um, very quiet about her current living situation, which is great. Uh, though lots of people have seen her shop around the Lynchburg, Virginia area, so people are saying it might be Lynchburg, Virginia. Again, where exactly? We don't know. Where are we in the documentary? Um, oh no, no I, was, I, was, I was talking about the, uh, streams here, like going, going through Chris's videos. We're going to go through them pretty quickly, but, uh, part 81 will be addressing up to February 2021. I was going to go pretty fast, and then suddenly February got pretty long. Because we had to address some pretty serious stuff that happened during that time. 
Goes with the Groucho Marx glasses and the mustache. I actually had them back when I was a. Kaeru Hawking Tipeto Yon. Alfred King, thank you very much. W. Quarters. Food to you put to Chris in a boxing match against. It's for the fate of Book Kubil. Do you want me to. Do you want Chris to win or. or get knocked out for the. for the betterment of、uh, Quickville? Honestly, Quickville would be a much better place without. without. without Chris. So personally, I just put him、uh, up against.、Uh, what say you? Hmm. Tricky, tricky. Jerk off number four. Anyway, so Chris is.、Uh, Chris is wearing like. Like the、uh, MLP outfit, basically. There's that.、Um, it's like that、uh, DJ Pones pony. Kind of looks like this. It's like really bright. Like, I like aqua. Aqua colored. Blue Wait! We had those already.、Can't、But this is 1015. Okay. Let me check this, this video Chris saved by his autism. That's, th this is the original upload from Ram Spieler. This is 16th of October. And all these、uh, quick me、uh, smash tournament things are not. Uh, they're, they're actually before this, so let me just、uh, adjust this video a little bit. So I'm just gonna rearrange the playlist. Just bear with me, bear with me. And the, and the playlist freaked out again. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. There he goes. I just blew up for again. Anyway, so let's, so let's rearrange this playlist. Let's delete this video. And、uh, the very next day, or maybe even the same day, Quicks, the Quicks versus Autism round two. Christine Christian s o n a t u Christian versus Autism. Let's see how this works.、Uh, this is video part 511. Let's, let's just delete this video. We don't need this. We need the playlist. Okay. Just running out the playlist. There you go. And right after this, we got the first ever、um, official. Video from Christine in 2015, which is around、uh, October. Chris was really not not, 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 not all that talking to the、uh, audience at that time. They're all 50, it looks like. Is that a Sony Bravia? Yeah, it is a Sony Bravia, I'm sure. When do you estimate the dock will be done? Probably early next year. Me done? Kind of up to date. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a bit of a pause.、Uh, I mean, like, at, at least a year. When we get to the jail saga. Chris gets in jail,、uh, and, then, and then I'm gonna end the episode whenever it、uh, reaches like 40 45 minutes at that point. And after that, I'm gonna wait until we get more information or.、Um, I, got, I, I can build up a bit more research. But during that break, I'm going to be doing the s o n i c u animated series, which is going to be up on this channel. In addition to my music on my music channel, Gino Samuel Official, check out the link below, or my documentary channel, Gino Samuel 3. So, yes,、uh, things will be very, very, very different around here. I'm free. I'm so close to being free. How are you streaming in China? Like a、uh, streaming software like OBS? And,、uh, of course, there's a, there's a VPN involved and also,、um, also a proxy as well. Are you still casting? I'm not casting. I, I got pretty much everybody. And that was a long time ago, too. I, I started, started casting because I thought I was, I was going to start working on it a lot sooner than I, than I will. Um, I, I will start working on it probably early next year. But I got most of the voices. Most of the major voices, at least. China's not nearly as bad as, as you think it, it is if you, th if you think you can't stream. Yeah, I can stream. It just makes it more difficult, but I can stream. 
uh, it costs money a little bit, you know, for the for the for the VPN, but but uh, personally, personally, um, I'm not paying for anything, really here. I'm not paying for bills, so I'm. You might think that I'm just, I'm in a way I'm just kind of paying for internet, you know, which is what, what y'all should be doing, or, or you know, your bill pair should be doing anyway. So it's fine. Anyway, so now we're we're back, we're back, and Chris looks bo bodacious. A buyer donate directly to me to my shop. Quick little shop at Etsy. I believe this shop is closed. Let's let's just have a look. A quick plus shopping um, is currently not selling on Etsy. I believe this was, um, yeah. Anyway, there's a there's an official Etsy shop from uh, uh, managed by Prater, and that's where you can get the official Sonic medallions that are. Battery tipped to 42. Thank you much, battery again. Thank you very much, battery again. Wheels are animated series have the spelling errors and grammatical errors pronounced as the right them. Yes. Uh, the Sonic animated series will be uh, an animation of what Chris intended for the uh, Sonic comics to be. Nicktipet 44.20W quarters. Using HE stomps on an unused vibrator that HE got as a free gift live rent free in my head. Who sent him the free gift anyway? Thanks very much, Nick. So yes, um, I will not change anything. Um, for the animated series, there will be the actual drawings from Chris, but animated. You know, have you have you ever seen clips of that Captain America show? Was it Captain America? It's like from the '60s, where where they just took the comic book panels and they animated them. And it looks really stilted and and weird and very funny. It's gonna be kind of like that, but but with actual voice actors. Everyone except Chris, and uh, then Chris Shanstonichu, and then. Relnak, they'll they'll all be um, AI based on based on recordings that that I uh, got from Chris. Uh, they're like AI AI models that I made, uh, but everyone else is going to be voice actors. I'm very appreciative of <laughs> well, this in my head is but for me, but I'm very appreciative of all the all the wonderful people who decided to. Uh, to join this little project, so it's great. It's great. I'm very keen on making it. Eventually, I want to get it done as soon as possible. Really. So anyway, let's let's check out. Thank you from Christine Chandler. Hello, I want. This is Christine Chandler coming to you live from my house here. Hey, anyway, I want to thank personally thank everybody on the internet for considered support for my books and works and my figures and whatnot mm -hmm. and help me out around here to recover from a whole bunch of the other stresses and whatnot but that's aside but anyway uh they, you're, they, you're, I just want to let everybody know that donations are greatly appreciated and I'll continue to honor my promises as I have stated that's nice uh have you ever spoken interacted with Chris directly before yes I have lots of times I even uh leaked some of our messages sometimes on the on the quick in on my discord too um we just chatted mostly on twitter twitter direct messaging and then uh chris would sometimes drop into my youtube uh, co uh yeah comments chris would leave comments as well and uh, critique the videos and clarify stuff and chris would also address the the documentary in other sources in in, com in conversations with other people we're f we're fairly <laughs> We're fairly it, I guess. Uh, Chris was on this stream in the chat as well, two streams ago. In uh, my listings on Etsy and everything, and I'll include a link in the description where y'all you know, can buy a figure, buy a book, or donate some more. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, it's all going good and well. Just want this is just my little video of gratitude. <sighs> so. More new content is coming up. Stay tuned between my Etsy page, my Facebook, my Twitter. So, thank you all very much. That's going to be a very long page in Book 11 with the, with the names. Yeah. And I'm very proud to make it. It's probably more than one page. That would hmm. be really good. Nice. Anyway, okay. Everybody have a good and safe day. 
Hey, okay, okay, Croc Master. Okay, that's a, that is um, that's that's quite the question. I never, I never really, really addressed this personal opinion yet. Do you have a personal opinion about what happened between Chris and Barbara? Difference to what the court concluded. I mean, is Chris okay with my merch? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> um, so what I think happened is it's. Personally, I think uh, Chris stupid Barbara. No doubt about that. Um, I don't know how willing she was to take it. Um, it's kind of hard to believe that she would be okay with it or that, that she would even want it. Um, at first, at first, I believed that based on what Chris said, is that Chris said that Barbara said no at first, but then she got into it. Um, I couldn't find that source later on, so I think I was misrem mis misremembering. However, Chris did say that Barb seemed very confused and, un and, and unsure at, at what was happening at first. But then she got into it, according to Chris. Um, I personally believe is that she, uh, she did not have the strength to resist anymore, unfortunately. But... <sighs> Yeah, was she able to deny it? That's I mean, he bought the book. That's the damning part to me. Uh, yes, and also Chris was was bragging about having an older girlfriend that uh, she was having sex with all the time to numerous people. The author of the Christian versus Warhol book, uh, Null, uh, WCT, other people too, and Chris even admitted to it. To Dylan Thomas, the the YouTuber, Chris admitted. Chris, Chris was bragging about having sex, though she knew that having sex with your own mother is something that's kind of frowned upon in wider society. That's why Chris was avoiding mentioning who she was having sex with. But she was having sex, so 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 that means this is a a great momentous occasion for for her. So she wanted to brag about it. That's that's how Chris works. And, uh, yeah, Chris was very resistant, um, to, to say who until the very, very end, um, to, uh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, she said that to, uh, Bella and, um, yeah, that, that, that whole Bella and, uh, the Sutras arc, that's, uh, that's, that's going to be a thing. The book? Yes. Yes. The book. It's, uh, Chris bought a book, like basically, uh, like, Instructing you how to comfortably have sex when you're disabled, like having sex with uh, disabled or old people comfortably, you know, Chris bought that guide, basically. So, and then, and, and now Chris is claiming that uh, Chris was just lying about the whole thing. Um, that's, 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 it's kind of BS because people are basically, people are, people are, not happy about what Chris did. That's why Chris is lying about it. That's just very, very, very simple. And it's, it's, it's part of Chris's MO, really, you know? Did Chris try to normalize it with Barb or did he play on the dimension and basically just jump her routinely? Uh, yeah, Chris jumped her every three days, apparently. Am I leaving? No. Barb couldn't overpower him and she was scared and confused. Fight or flight when you can't freeze or fawn. It's unspeakable and he's a disgusting predator. Yep. <sighs> but also, uh, apparently Chris was being like encouraged to think this way from all the uh, incest fanfics that she was reading at the time. I really don't know. Are you leaving China soon? Economy is getting scary there. Economy is getting scary everywhere. Everywhere. God damn. But uh, we will, we will, we are intending to leave China eventually. I cannot say how soon, but uh, we're not going to stay here until we retire. Is what I'm going to say. There's no way ob objection. There's no way Chris could have found the vaginas. <laughs> okay. Chris found the vagina twice before. All right. Chris had sex twice with a paid professional. Chris has experience. Uh, and Barb made the first move. Yeah, sure, 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 buddy. However, Barb did, um, did force Chris to a spoon with her, though. 
You you cannot deny that. She was she was a bit weird at times too. Uh, anyway, um, it's just a dementia thing. I really don't know if Barbara could actually consent. Yes, that's that's the whole thing. Again, if Barbara has dementia, some people are very are very much sp split on that. You know whether Barbara has dementia or not, or she's just playing it up for the camera. But I mean, at that age, it's the the likelihood is um is like it skyrockets year by year. You know. They 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 did spoon. The court dismissed the case because there's no evidence. They were... Not exactly. Wait, what? No, no. Oh, God damn it! Actually, actually hurts my ears. Anyway, um, they had a autism deferral defense. Good old David Heilberg pulled the autism deferral card, basically stating that Chris would not do whatever. She did if it, if it were not for the uncontrolled autism, basically. So Chris pulled the autism autism deferral card, which is like the first time ever it was it was used, basically, uh, basically saying that if Chris is in a controlled environment, people are looking after her, she would not rape her mother. And apparently, the court was okay. Well, Chris Chris behaved herself. She was out for a little bit. <laughs> Uh, in the possibly in a group home, we don't know for sure. A confession counts as evidence. Um, what are the laws in Virginia around um, around co covert recordings of a conversation? Because if if both parties don't know they're they're being recorded, then it's not admissible, is it? And uh, that makes things more difficult if, if Bella is in Texas. Then it's like a, it's gonna be a, a federal case. Then um, I don't care if it was consensual. I think I still think he should be. He, she, yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Circumstantial evidence. That's not how consent works. Considering the circumstances, she would have to explicitly say yes. Just think of her condition and the situation. Well, yes. Yes, live from channel 32. <laughs> Apparently it is stream, stream 32 and not 31. Anyway, I'll, I'll change it. I feel, I feel like they have, though. I feel, I feel like I have a, a couple of 32s. Anyway, or 30s. It would have made more sense to claim the years of torment on Chris's behavior than autism. Lot, lots of interesting chats here. Anyway. <laughs> Chris was in jail for two years because of a manipulated, coerced, out of context, edited confession. Yes. This is this is what Chris is claiming now, which is a bit weird. If it if it was just someone talking bullshit with no evidence whatsoever, Chris would not have been in jail for up to two years. Lost two years of her life, just like that, from blow up dolls to barbs. Uh, VA is a one party state. Okay, one party state. That means. So that means that, uh, so that means that, uh, consensual, uh, no, but then the actual source of the recording for the courts would, would have to come from Bella herself, no, the uh, person recording and not some, uh, second party edited version of the call. No, anyway, we don't know law. At least I don't. And, um, this is over. The case is over. Chris is out. Let's Thank move on. Again. What the hell am I looking at? Uh! If y'all have those 3D spectacles, you can you can put them on now. What the hell is happening? Can't see a damn thing. Is still, is still Chris doing the whole I am Jesus Christ thing? Yeah, yeah, Chris is. Texas State is one party consent consent state too. But then again, you would have to get the recording from Bella herself. And not from uh and from our YouTube re-upload. 
Uh, the fact is that governments don't want to deal with people like Chris, not even on, on prison. So they probably were happy with just letting him go. Mm. Not saying it was because of the torment, but just saying if you're going to blame it on autism and lack of understanding, which we all know isn't true, they might as well say they are traumatized. Huh. No betrayed him like Judas. She went to jail for our sins, y'all. Why did Null have access to his email? Null was uh Null was managing Chris's email for a long time to to deter trolls. Basically, Chris would get lots of trollsome emails, so Chris uh, so uh, Null would then uh, basically copy and paste the emails onto the Kiwi farms and saying, Look, look at this fucking idiot. Make go uh go die yourself you know basically like that like a sh like like pub like publicly shaming these uh weens so chris was doing that and um if there were any uh actual le legitimate business opportunities they would go through chris's email that Null was managing and then Null would manage as a as a as the, as, as the power of, a, of attorney over chris you know because Null, deep in his heart wanted chris to live off the lol countess because like as you can see with the um, with boogie and the and the and the lol cast and and all this shit happening being a lol cow if you're smart enough is is financially sound <laughs> you know as a career so no understood that chris could make legitimate money doing whatever she does she just has to control herself a little, a little bit better so uh, Null was that a little bit better control for for Chris's sake. You can tell she's gotten all the new mannerisms and speech patterns she's got from generic depictions of Jesus from film. <laughs> this is why we should never shut down the asylums. Now we got people like Christian, Cyrax, and Daniel Larson, Roman Free sticking their ducks in things they shouldn't. Professional clowns. Hmm. Null's vision for what for Chris was essentially what Prater is doing now. Kind of, yes. Pretty much, honestly. Uh, was Null getting a cut? Like, I don't know what the hell that means, but uh, Null was not getting a cut. I'm sure Null's Null's busy managing his own things. He's he's fine. He doesn't need uh, Chris's money. Anyway, let's move on to another video, another charming video. Um, apology for past homophobic comments and homophobia. That's that's nice. Character development. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Good day. Uh, 30th this of is, October, uh, 2015. Christine Chandler once again coming to you live from home. Well, I have been. I have come to the realization that I should. I have another apology that I owe to everybody, especially those that have. I definitely know the pages and of my, of my later books that are still yep. yet still months away before I put them on paper publish. But I have a Connor Parker was Elvis's manager who took fifty percent of his money. God damn! It kind of sounds like that, um, like uh, Taylor Swift's manager who like bought all of her albums and, and now he he owns a hundred percent of the sales of the of the of the original albums. That sucks. Anyway. Updated some of those pages. Uh, but anyway, they uh, were reminiscent. And re no, Null really wanted Chris to uh, to be to be more um, functioning as a as a human being. You know. Reflective of past homophobia. Anyway, I want. Anyway, you see, when I when I originally drew and wrote those pages, I was quite homophobic at the time hmm. but then when I came out uh, in July of 2014 as myself a lesbian trans woman mm -hmm. I have uh, realized that I am part of the uh, LGBTQ community hmm. and I definitely felt like I felt I fit in when I went to the pride festival in that same year later after I came out so anyway, I had since uh, edited those changes. You ever heard Caden, the uh, leader from Praetor, talk? There's a Discord chat 
between Praetor, Caden, and um, and the Watchmen coming up in Part Eighty One. Why does it sound like a nineteen twenties gangster? He really does. It's just really weird. And just seeing his 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 face from those photos that were that were published, it just it really does not match his voice. It's really odd. Changed con changed this is 2015, to, uh, October 2015. Away from that, and well, had a cure for homosexuality mm -hmm. put in there. Yep. Of which I was re which was end up what I came back in the future for. But anyway, Chris was talking through a burp there. Just essentially preventing a zombie apocalypse. Prater stole eight thousand dollars from Chris. I believe the income split between Prater and Chris is very uneven. However, Chris is not doing very much for them. You know, and um, apparently Chris is okay with it. Um, Chris, Chris, um. Chris still is this on Chris is still on the SSDI, which um basically is is like it's like a insurance uh monthly payments for someone with uh with a certain disability case and uh in, in Chris's case Chris Chris does get a, a set amount of money every month. However, if Chris is gainfully employed somewhere else, if 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 he reaches a certain limit then Chris cannot get the SSDI. It gets it gets taken away, meaning that uh, Chris Chris is no longer disabled enough to to not have a job. Therefore, Chris does not get the SSDI, just like free money basically for for existing. So I believe maybe that's the reasoning why the uh, Prater and Chris income split is so wild. Basically, um, at least in February by February twenty twenty one, uh, Prater had made like um, over $6,000 at that point from selling medallions. And out of that, Chris got 400. So Chris has to, so Chris has to get a certain level under, you know, every month for, for her to keep getting the SSDI. Apocalypse. That's my re that's my reasoning at least, but um, of course it it does seem quite unfair. Possibly if the if the income split was a bit more fair, Chris uh, Chris would not have to get the SSDI. Chris could get a, a whole lot more than that just by doing not much. But it doesn't seem like Chris is doing all that much for the medallions. You know, I mean Chris is making the uh, drawings, but perhaps for the stuff where uh, Chris is actually making the stuff, like, for example, all the uh, drawings that are still on the Etsy shop, maybe those, Chris gets a bigger cut. I'm not sure. But the, but the medallions definitely, uh, especially if they're, if, they're, if, they're, if they're not even signed, you know, Chris is just getting, like, a, like maybe around 10% of the sales because Chris designed the actual medallion, so therefore you should get a, a little bit of that. Anyway, um, I do sincerely want to apologize for the homophobia and the past misinterpreted outrage that I had. I think it's twelve hundred dollars per month via tugboat, no? You see, originally when I was homophobic, it was because the mislabelings that were put upon me and Sanchu, because Sanchu is definitely not gay. Nope. Sanchu loves women. Yep. And Rose Chu is the woman and she loves her man. Yep. Nothing wrong but with that. Anyway, aside from all that, I had uh, edited that. that was, there was a spot of that in Book 9 as well. Uh, of which those edits and updates can be seen within the respective albums on my Facebook. I'm sure that uh, my followers have uh, taken out, have copied those pages for their personal viewing and reference. But anyway. I'm sorry for my past homophobia and my writing about that in my books. And I hopefully I have uh, taken all that out of the uh, original content of my books. Was the roast you a guy at the beginning of the series? Um, that was retconned, yes. According to the Idea Guy Corruptions, that was a, a few years after this. Yes, Chris now accepts that Roshu was was born a male Raichu, I believe. And then uh, 
converted, transitioned basically. <laughs> later on and if, and I'm still going through them one at a time unfortunately the last full issue was I believe the idea guy corruption signed to issue 13 and the rest is unfinished I'm sure like Chris started working on 14 and 15 and 16 and 17 but not finished in any of them the later ones will be months away from paper viewing from the time this video gets uploaded paper viewing so hopefully I'll have all the uh, updates remedied there a yeah, short book is a book too so anyway, I want to thank you all again for your continuing support. It's it's uh, most helpful, but still, more help can be appreciated very much. Mm. All right, so thank you all again. Is that a is that a pencil drawing of Barbara? You have a look at the back there. I'm not sure if you're, if you're gonna see it if I if I zoom in. Maybe maybe the uh, screen is off. I'll see how, how it looks, but um. Anyway, we should, we can we can turn this up right right here. Anyway, there's a there's this a uh, recursive drawing of uh, Chris's mind. My mind is the blank drawing. It's right there, and then you get this pencil portrait of um of somebody. I don't I don't know who that is, but it's um never seen it before actually. Again, and have a good day. Anyway, let's um. Let's move on to this. Hello. Fuck. To all my lucky lady fans. Yes, I just got out of the shower. I feel clean again. Yep. Well, it gets lonely around here in my bedroom. Okay. I feel like I might want to date some of y'all. I mean, we'll get to know each other, you know? Okay. Have a pleasant dinner or just enjoy a conversation over a cup of coffee. See where things go. See how we feel around each other. Yeah, maybe I'll eventually find my sweetheart amongst y'all. <sighs> See where things go, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm open to all kinds of women, because you got the whole package in one. The female soul, uh -huh. the body that can go any way you desire. Damn. My lady. Whoa. Mm. That's a bra right there. Straight bisexual lesbian. I'll take y'all on. Cause nice. Because I'm an overlooked treasure that should not be ignored or overlooked any longer. So I like it. I think we should start getting to know each other, my loyal lady fans. And of course, you know who I'm talking to. <laughs> y'all. So just contact me at the email address I provide underneath this video. Please don't, please don't contact that. And we'll set up a lovely please. date just between the two of us. Mm. One weekend, y'all can visit. Maybe get a hotel room, y'all. Why is Chris ending every other sentence with y'all? Spend a lovely evening together in or something. Or maybe we'll swing by here. Uh, get to know me, talk to me, see whether we see whether we click or not. Mm hmm. Mm. Lovely, lovely times and memories to be shared. And All even right. if things don't work out for the long run, mm hmm. You'll still get a new friend in me anyway. And I pinky promise on that. Thank y'all for your attention and and whatnot. I'm not thankful for this tension at all. Oh, thank God. All right. Family needs to appreciate family. This sounds like something from, uh, from, 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 from Fast and Furious. Anyway, this is, um, this is the, uh, okay. So this is basically the, um, the good side of the family versus the bad side of the family. We've got Christine, Barbara Ann, Mr. Bobby C, and Christian. And then in his own team, you got autism. And then versus J. Cole Smithy, Dr. David Allen Chandler, and uh, Carol... Carol, uh, whatever, Weston. Uh, Barbara's sister, I think. So this is, uh, this is interesting. And whatnot. 
actual whiplash. <laughs> oh, why is why is autism stuck in the middle there? Anyway, we're gonna watch this and then one more video and then we're out of here for tonight. Because I gotta go eat some lunch. Lo-fi Roman Empire, music of ancient Rome, sleep study. Oh, holy shit! I gotta check that one out. That seems really cool. I I, I need some better background music. Uh, the most surprising thing to me is that his art did not improve at all. Like, even if you don't study art, no, no, no. Chris, Chris's art definitely did improve. If you, if you look at the cover of Son of Sancho issue zero versus Sancho issue fifteen, I think, which is basically like the uh, Christine version of, of the same cover, it improved a lot personally. Like, like it's it's like the difference between like a and a, a seven year old style and a and a nine year old style. I mean, it's, it's improved a lot. David Allen Chandler is uh, Bob's other son. Was a, was a doctor. Mr. Hearns, thank you. Bob. Bob just flashed me. Anyway, thank you very much, um, Mr. Hermes. Hermes. The music is pretty sweet. I have no idea what's happening. How can the CPU even keep up? Why is he in China? I live here with my wife. Who won? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the blue team. Great. Awesome. All right. So we're going to, we're going to get through this though at a, at a faster, at a, at a faster pace though. Cause this is a, uh, Chris, Chris is getting, is uh, going through the, uh, the, the merchandising period of her life. This is pretty cool. Personally, uh, not, not only can you buy, no, not not only can you play with them in video games, but through the power of your minds and imagination. Toy to life figures are still toys after all, and can be collected in all, and can be collected in all and played with. Available mainly through me, Christine Weston Chandler, the original creator of Sancho and Rose on quick list shopping at Etsy.com. No link though, which is which is. It's very nice to have the link to your to your shop here, but uh, Hello, there's, there's no link. This is Christine Chandler coming to you live from home once again. And I wanted to give y'all a little bit of a detail about something These that you can do. These are amiibos. In addition to the amiibo figures, actually working on Nintendo 3DS and Wii U with their. So basically, amiibos are figurines of uh, like uh, Nintendo related characters, or like Sega or whatever stuff. Stuff that that you can get in certain games. Like Smash Brothers, for example, they would all have their own figurines. So basically, uh, they have some interactivity. These figurines. So basically, you can like uh, you can bring them close to your gaming console, and then there's like a Bluetooth chip in there or something, and they and they communicate with each other and then pass data. And so so basically, like this is your character that that you can bring to uh, other gaming consoles, and then they can just like be. Like inserted into that game as well, I, something like that. But uh, anyway, so so Chris was buying lots of these amiibos. Most most of them seem to be uh, Sonic the Hedgehog amiibos, and then Chris bought lots of Pikachu amiibos. Chris chopped off the tails of the Pikachu amiibos and attached them to all the uh, Sonic amiibos, and then painted over them and uh, added some some clay stuff maybe as well to make them look like Sonichu's and uh, Christian Sonichu and Magichan Sonichu and Blake and uh, Sylvan and and, uh, and all that. So basically for the for the for the price of a of a single Sonichu figurine Chris Chris would have to bas basically buy at least two different amiibos. <laughs> Most of one was not usable at all then that was the uh, Pikachu amiibo without with, without a tail. So that, that was just basically a thr thrown away. Chris, Chris is really throwing away money here. 
<laughs> bonus functionality through the chips in the bottom. And not only do they have high collectability. They do. Between the good guys and the bad guys, more bad guys to gum. And I was hoping that by the time I get to make an ad, I have a, a lot more jerk ops and jank ops to fight. Jank but that will be in a later ad that I will end up... Um, Amiibo is basically Skylanders without the base and, and their in-game functionality is usually just meaningless bonus items and stuff. Amiibos were $13 at the time. Creating and hand animating and all that. Like a, like a traditional toy commercial. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, you forget what? One, don't forget one Chris thing. Never did that. Be, you don't have to have them for their Amiibo functionality because they are still very collectible and as toys, you can still... He leveled them up, meaning that Chris was playing all of these amiibos before they were sold. <laughs> you know, playing in game just to level up them. So Chris was spending a lot of time doing this, and not that many people sold them and uh, bought them. And and whoever bought them, most most of the times they're just like falling off their bases by by the time they reach their destination. Imagination and play with them. So it's like you know. Let's take an example of Sanji and Rose Chid there defending the city of Quickville against a horde of jerk cops that come in. Jerk cops and jerk cops. And it's like, you know, they're practically outnumbered. It's yep. Like, Sanji. Come on, Rosie, let's go zap these guys back to Graduate. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. You want to do the yippee? I'm sorry. All right, let's get it on. <laughs> He bought the, uh, the the auto leveler. Fuck. There's what a thing punch? like that. And yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris made some amiibos of his of of her family as well, like uh, Chris herself and the Christian Winston Chandler as well, and uh, of course Barbara with uh, with really big boobs. And then Bob was there, and uh, and the evil family members like Cole Smith and and David Allen Chandler. Thunderbolt. <laughs> That's a far threat there. And this horde is taken down. As the city is safe from another herd of jerk cops and jank cops for a day. And let's talk about a moment about autism, the one that's always beat me oh, on the brain. Oh, look, there's there's autism. The autism amiibo with the... Yeah. Hey, you always beat me up on the brain, you freaking autism, you... I'm stuck with you every day of my life, you know, and it freaking bothers me. That's sad. You, always sl you slow me down in the head and weigh me down. I can't socialize as well. And not only that, but you make me, make my parents have to send me to all the institutions and all the things and all the therapy and everything, mm. making them at least a lot of money that could have been used for the betterment of the family and also when actually paying the bills and everything. Yeah. Thank God, mental condition that messed up my brain for a lifetime. Electric <sighs> control power! Then now I'm gonna thud up a your way. <laughs> Freaking autism! Yeah! And I win against autism, kicking it in the tush. Nice. Good job. And then of course, Rajwan and Salil Ryum. I think we have the... I think we have another couple coming this time. Salil looks great. Holy shit. Wild wow. and Samoma. Uh-huh. Oh, Rajwan. and wild types. You think you can just stand our magic, might and magic? Yeah, I'm might and magic. Because Rajwan's doing the wand here. No, I'm not. You broke the wand. Yeah, you're right. Good thing broke the wand. You know, I'll tell you what. You're a very dang good, nasty woman, and I don't ever care for your magic. You're just a hack. Yeah, well, you know what? Civil you're War. Old. <laughs> Civil War. We're confused, but let's take him out. Fine whip. Burr on the ground. <laughs> All right. Black Chris is having fun here. Yes. And think of all the extra fun you can have with the other heroes and villains available now and yet to come. So you can take down more of these bad guys. Nice. And in the name of saving the day in the city of Quickville. Quickville. And also help take it down autism so we don't have so that's one less worry to worry about in life. Yep. Then dollars will be donated for each set for a sale of each of these autism figures. They come in four they come in four colors. Sorry, cold. Each of which represent a little puzzle piece of the primaries plus green. Oops. So that's a little bit of the thing. You, that's definitely a fun thing you can do with the amiibo. With the that has a miniature Sancho medallion on the Christine there. It looks really cool. And my family. 
There you go. There's a there's Barbara and and and, and Bob. Um what what figurine was was Barbara based off of? And um did it originally include all those those uh those giant boobs or or not? I really don't know. It doesn't feel very appropriate. Are, are these like Mega Man things? It's just um to go a bit yeah. My yeah. family's the good people. Good people. Except for some. Except for some. That's not, that's could cool. actually be more appreciative of the family to have actually cool right there. been lost. <laughs> Looks the great. There's the David Allen still... Chandler. Yeah, that's... Alive. <sighs> Here I go. Come make amends with my mother, that gone it. That gone it. <laughs> Movie reviewer. I am not who you think I am. I have been possessed by Count Grudgewad. And I fight for him now. <laughs> yeah, well, you look like my brother, so <laughs> take that. <laughs> Chris be let the record show. Chris beats up people if they if they, if they look like people that she doesn't like. Okay, great. We'll rise because we have the spirit of Graduate. That's right. This body is under my control. <laughs> and the spirit of God and autism on my side. And we'll fight, another, we'll fight another day to defend They're the city working. and help restore true love within the world and everything. A much better commercial advertisement will be made in the future with more figures. I doubt it. A whole lot and Hear more music. to collect. Including the customizable jerk ops and jank ops. And <laughs> that's quite a few to collect, you know, one, with one of each of the uniform color, skin tone color, sword fighter. Gunner and skin brawler. tone color. There's more than one skin tone though. And they come customizable with the with your choice of either a custom made me. In no, the Chris base, is not banned from the stream. She just doesn't want to join. Or a human version That's figure fine. like Mario, Luigi, Villager, whatever. So practically a dime a dozen. The uh, jerk cops and jank cops because they're the pawns of Graduan. I can't believe I was trapped in this wand. I oh, shut up. I don't think so. Chris is not bent. Fifteen. I'm probably gonna go work for the good guys. We'll fight another day, and we'll get the city, and all the love will be destroyed and made illegal. Well, that's life. Way to good guys, we're gonna help restore goodness and everything. Cool. Collect us all. Thank now. you. Take a few weeks to make. Visit the Quickville shopping shop a few on Few weeks. God damn. Anyway, we're we're gonna get to whatever the hell this 13 minute long video is later. We're gonna get to this next week, I I, I guess. Anyway, let's let's move on back to here. It got a bit too hot, so I'm my face is a bit red now. Let's just adjust things here. Oh, God. Is my music died already? God damn it. Just stop dying already. Okay, there we go. Just turn down the music just a little bit. There you go. Actual lore in a tour review. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, the Star Wars action figures were initially sold as a pre-order with just an empty box. What the hell? <laughs> I'm missing lore. I don't know what that means. I like you like my striped sweater. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anyway, it's just about time to go out for some lunch. Ugh. I'm blushing about the bisexualism. No, I really not. I started listening to your music the other day. I danced like crazy to Stereo Love. Thank you very much for enjoying Stereo Love. I got more than that, but um, yeah, Stereo Love is a great song. Please check out Stereo Love on my music channel. Link down below. I'm gonna make, uh, make CDs of that album shortly. Probably should have left 15 minutes ago, but I'm leaving now, so bye, Gino. Bye, Sam. Nice to see you around here for so long. 
It looks strange. It is a strange hat, but it looks cool. What, what will Gina be feasting on? I'm, I'm going to find out eventually. I have no idea. Until, un, until I get there. Anyway, so this is the end of the stream. Hopefully. I'm not that familiar with Onision. Though some people say I look like him. I can hear this uh, Soviet music in the in the back. It's too great. What type of hat? I don't know. I really don't know. Loved your music video for Guardian Angel. Thanks. Thanks, Pingus. It's too bouncy. Dogs. That's right. It's called dogs. Doesn't China have a winter festival? I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. I love that. That, that inverted poo is still sitting there like a ghost. <laughs> it kind of is. Anyway, so yeah, let's 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 have this this uh, dog polka see us out until the end. This is music from the Leica documentary, the Space Dog documentary, linked down below. Please check it out on the Gino Samuel 3 documentary channel. It makes people cry. You should cry too. What junk food do you miss most from home? I actually have so much better junk food here than than I, than I got in in Japan. Like the burgers from McDonald's are so fucking great here. We do miss the pizza though. Pete, Domino's Pizza is like two hours away, and there's there's absolutely no way we can we we can reach it that that readily. What is rent in China comparatively to wages? I have no idea. I'm I'm not renting. I don't know. What levels of Geno Samuel merch are you looking into besides physical music copies? Uh, Sonic medallions, clothing or posters maybe. Um, posters I can probably make, but it's gonna be on my uh, spring shop, I guess. That's more easy to manage, I guess. I'm not sure. This is this this is called Dogs, Dogs by Geno Samuel. It's available on YouTube and also uh, Spotify. The whole Leica soundtrack is on Spotify, streaming. I was gonna call it Space Dogs, but then I just left it as Dogs. Anyway. So this has been me. This has been you. Hope looks like I'm set to release part 81 next weekend. So, um, so yeah, about seven days away, we're gonna get part 81. It's gonna be a doozy. So much bullshit in that one. Holy shit, is the most ridiculous stuff I've, I've ever talked about, really. So please look forward to that. And uh, I guess next stream two weeks from now. So it's a factor to make the Christian shirt do it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. The the collection of Blu-rays for the Christian documentary will be out a bit later on. I have to finish this first run of the series first. And then I think I'm going to start restoring and the remastering and maybe even re-recording and re-editing some, some stuff as well. And fixing some stuff um, of, the, of the rest of the series. That's only going to be available on the Blu-rays. Or maybe even on, on Rumble as well. If, if you want, you know? It'd be a million interesting. I mean, thanks, but... That would be pretty cool if I, if I could do that. Maybe even get a director's commentary on that. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm going to finish season one first and then I can um, make the the Blu-ray set. How many Blu-rays is that going to be? Like 10? I mean, Blu-rays store a lot more uh, space than just r regular CDs. Like a Blu-ray disc? That's like... Are, 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 are they still 4.7 gigs or can you get bigger? Do, do you think Chris could have won the war if he didn't choose to invade Northern Quick? Okay, sure. Anyway, if you're interested, 12? 12 what? 12, 12 discs? 12 gigabytes? What was what that? Six? I don't think you know what you're talking about, Ty Taekwondo guy. Blu ray is like 25 gigabytes? Holy shit, I can just. Wow, okay. How much does an uncompressed episode take up? It's uh, 2 gigabytes per episode. 12, 25, 25, god damn, I've not been keeping up with the Blu-rays for 10 years. <laughs> Where are you counting as season 1? From, from from 1 to 86, or wherever I uh, I stop off. 
the uh, the start of the jail saga is going to be the end of season one. So I'm going to make a Blu-ray set of that. How much to donate for you to put up an attraction sign in China on my behalf? I can make up my own attraction signs, honestly. I can probably sell those as a poster as well. You probably maybe enjoy the like recreations of that. That'd be pretty cool. 12 quick bites. Thanks, Mental Prolapse. Anyway, if you're interested in supporting me, I got a Patreon down below. Um, also, PayPal donation is also fine. And uh, Bandcamp for music. I'm also available on streaming and download everywhere for my music. As Gino Samuel. So check out those. Yes, I'm I'm probably going to make my own, my own menus as well. 23 PS2 memory cards. Blu rays go up to 80 gigabytes? Fuck! <laughs> anyway, so thank you very much for joining, and I'll see you next time, I guess. Take care of yourselves and take care of someone else. Later, taters. That's right. Please write in Mandarin. <laughs> oh, the, the attraction sign, you mean? Goddamn. Anyway, hope you're staying safe out there. And, uh, yeah, that's all I got now. I'll let you know when the when, when when the shop is up. I'm gonna make a community post over here. And I'm gonna do another rainy watching Christian videos uh stream in about a month, I'd say, close to Christmas time. So anyway. Hedgehog and lightning. Don't get gulagged. Sure thing. Thanks everyone. And bye bye. Bye 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 bye. Thanks for all your support. That doesn't look good.